Hey, welcome back to another episode of Whiskey Row. Hey guys. So Jamie and I are back in the speakeasy today, and we're going to be doing another double blind to find out what is my favorite bourbon. Yeah. Now this is part two of the video mm -hmm. series. How did part one go, Jamie? It was fun. You had fun with it? Yeah. I, did you have fun with it? I had fun with it just because hey, I'm drinking my it, favorite bourbons. Did it taste good, David? Oh, it tastes good. <laughs> well, I'm drinking a sangria tonight. Yes. I, uh, I cut up a whole bunch of stuff and made a special sangria. I am not drinking yet because I'm doing a big tasting and I don't want to mess up again. So I haven't started yet. So what we are doing is we have set up a bracket style competition with five different groups of five bourbon each. Then the top two from each group are going to advance, and one of the groups is special because it's unicorns. Eventually, we are going to find out what is my favorite bourbon right now. So Jamie has in front of her the bracket for tonight, and she's got four different groups to choose from, and I really don't remember the groups too well, so I'm going to step out here in just a minute. She's going to pick from the group. So if you end up enjoying the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Follow us on Instagram at the Whiskey Row. If you want to support us on Patreon, do so at patreon.com slash whiskey row. And if you want to buy some of our whiskey row merchandise, check us out on whiskeyrow.shop. With all that said, let's go ahead and get into the competition. Do you have any questions before I leave? No. Nope. <laughs> hmm. What to pick? What to pick? Let's go with group two. Okay, Elijah Craig, batch 520. Bardstown Discovery, number four, Eagle Rare, Old Forester, 1910, 1792, 12-year. So as I begin pouring, I'm going to check out the lowest proof, and I'm going to taste it. I feel like that's a good way for me to kind of start experiencing this. Eagle Rare might be the winner of, hmm, I might try this one. Question is, what proof is Eagle Rare? So far that one is the one that I'm going to try. This one is 96. Let's see, 93. Well, I mean, okay, I'm not touching these two. 90 proof. Okay, so it still beats out this one. So I am going to try Eagle Rare. And I am only going to pour a little bit, so in case this is an expensive bottle. Cheers, y'all. Trying Eagle Rare. Should I tell you what I'm really thinking, or? Yeah, it's definitely not my style. Shh, don't tell David. <laughs> but now that I taste it, it has like a, kind of a creamy vanilla caramel kind of taste, which is kind of good. Yeah, we need to go. Just because David's not very good at doing that. I tried number three, so let's remember this is number three, guys, okay? That's the one that I tried. Well, I was actually in the yard, in the garage, looking at the yard because the yard had like seven deer in it, so I was watching the deer while you were doing that, so that was kind of Yeah, cool. and then I ran out and watched the deer. <laughs> and then I'm going to cut all this <laughs> blank space of us in the garage watching the deer. I'm going to put this right here so that way it like gives you luck, because what do you say, guys? He needs some luck. So I know I say this all the time, but this one I, I recognize. Not super recently, I don't think. So this one has a mild clove on the nose with a touch of vanilla, but more of like a honey sweetness. And there's a really strong herbal characteristic on this one too. <laughs> all right, let me have a taste of this. So there's a little bit of a floral note, but there's a lot of oak and tobacco, kind of older. It, it really does taste like an older bourbon to me. Mm-hmm. And maybe it's not older, but it, it's well-aged. The mm. aftertaste, so that's the one I tried. <laughs> like the smell, uh, it was a little burn on my nose, but I already told him I would try it. So then when I tasted it, it was kind of a harsh. So then I ran to get my bottle of water to wash it down. Mm -hmm. And then I stopped and I was like, hmm. 
And I, I felt like it started tasting like vanilla and caramel and like, I just had this really like smooth, like. It is smooth, but I, I mean, it hits me with a, a, like a, like a strong oak char and tobacco. It does go to a sweetness toward the, the back and the mm -hmm. end of the tasting experience. Okay, this one's a lot sweeter on the nose. Lots of caramel. Yeah, see, I didn't taste that one. This one, it's like got banana and caramel. Hmm. It's really creamy. There's a hint of clove, maybe an ever so, so mild touch of cinnamon. The overriding characteristic on the front of the smell is that caramel and sweetness. Let me ask you a question. So if you've got like a 90 proof, Mm -hmm. bourbon and then you've got a 95 proof bourbon is that like so close together that you can't really even like yeah and it, part, part of it too difference? yeah you can't tell the difference and part of it's the quality of the bourbon or how well it's aged because i've had bourbons that are higher proof but they're super smooth and i've had bourbons that are like 105 proof and they're just harsh so would i be looking for something that's lower proof or something that's been aged it's not necessarily. It's it's hard to just say only by you know low proof or go after low proof or only go after old. Yep. So this one has a lot creamier and sweet taste on this one. Can you smell it? Mm-hmm. You want to taste it real quick? Okay. It's like sweet with caramel, but like a toasted barrel behind that. It's so weird because I almost feel like. Um... Like when I taste it, it's like harsh to the, obviously the first drop, but mm -hmm. then the aftertaste, it's like a surprise. Like yeah. what's it going to taste afterwards? <laughs> so now I'm kind of catching on why like people have, you know, kind of find this interesting. Even though it's really sweet, there's a little bit of like a wood barrel taste that makes it a little bitter. Something um, is like... And I'm not, yeah. I'm... So this one is a lot just more balanced to me. There's like vanilla, there's caramel, there's a little bit of clove, a little black pepper, a little bit of herbalness, a little bit of floral. This is a very, very well-balanced bourbon on the nose. Mm -hmm. This just kind of got a little bit of it. It's not sickly sweet, it's not too sweet, it's not, but it's sweet. This is, wow. This is a mouthful of everything. There's like a strong cinnamon. It's a, a, got a good sweetness. There's barrel char. <laughs> There's like the mouth tingly things going on all over the place. It's got a long finish. You would not like this one, Okay. but it's a really good bourbon. I think the more and more though I taste, I feel like before I wouldn't give it a chance for the aftertaste, I'm already just like hating and wondering why I'm drinking it. You trying, know? trying to get some water down but, your throat yeah. and wash the flavor <laughs> and out. And now that I've given it a chance to see what yeah. surprises on the other side of the burn. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so this has a really, really good caramel candy smell to it it's a really high proof though it's burning my yeah, nose yeah it's already burned oh yeah <laughs> it's really high proof open opening up those senses <sighs> ton of caramel and almost like creme brulee it's a creamy caramel smell there's a little bit of a berryness to it just very subtle it's a high proof one you never took a guess at this one remember oh i'll guess it's you were gonna guess it. and there's a lot of cinnamon and spice and clove and black pepper but there's this really really good underlying sweetness and caramel with a hint of vanilla oh this is just delicious so it smells really good <clears throat> i said that like a hundred times yeah try it and let it's me caramel know. if it's good then i want to try it okay let me just try it but i think that's one of the other high highest proof ones wow mm -mm. wow good that is a lot of proof you will not like it okay that's so even I'm on the nose you didn't pick up on the proof on the yeah. palate this this one has a lot of that's proof. That's why when you said it was like really easy on the nose, I was like, that one's supposed to be the another high proof one. Yeah, on the nose, it's, it's really palatable and easy to smell. But on the palate, there's like a lot. There's a lot going on on this one. So it doesn't even have a really good aftertaste at all? It does. It does have a strong, sweet caramel aftertaste. That it, with a hint of berryness. There's a hint of berryness on this one. No, not it's not a strong berry though. It's just a, ever so faint, but it's really, you get that nice caramel, but you get a lot of cinnamon and a lot of intense flavor on your palate. You should try it. No. Because high proof ones, I mean, I literally saw you almost like die. <laughs> <laughs> I did almost die. So I would rather just not. <laughs> Jamie, thank you for letting me borrow your water. 
Borrow <laughs> is all you know. <clears throat> okay, so we're done. We did. We went through and we placed them all. I know what the ranking is now. Five. This is the highest proof one, and there's something about it I didn't love tonight. I think I know what it is actually. So. What do What do you think it is? Uh, let Just me play some. Well, we. I will. Yeah. Let me play some real quick. Uh, four was this one. Third place was um, this one. Aww. Second place was this one. Okay, so what do I think these are? I think this is Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. Yeah, I think you're right. Yep. Yes! You actually were right. Yeah! I'm <laughs> so excited. So I don't know the other participants in the group. I just know that this is Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. And the reason why is because I have a, a almost a love-hate relationship with Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. Some nights I'll drink Elijah Craig Barrel Proof, and I'm like, I know I should like this. It's, it should be really good to me. But it's not. It doesn't work for me. But other nights when I taste it, it's like, oh, this is so good. Oh. And tonight, I don't love it. It's really, really good, but I don't like it. If that makes any sense, it's a great <laughs> bourbon, but I don't like it tonight. Do you know what group you're in now? No, I don't know the groups well enough. I don't remember the when I put them together, I don't remember the <laughs> who all was in it. I just know that that was a Ledge Craig Barrel Proof. Oh, <laughs> Yes, so we have Elijah Craig Barrel Proof B520, so that's this one. Mm -hmm. Are you still guessing? <laughs> well, I'm going to go through and guess now. Okay. So I do agree that this would be the Bardstown because it is the higher proof one. This definitely had the next highest proof after the Elijah Craig. If I were to guess, this would be the 1792 12 year. Nope. Damn it. Then I would say... This is the one that I tasted right here. We've got the bottles down, and we're gonna go through. I, I, you know, I, I even before I knew what group and what the contestants were, I knew this was an Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. So let's just confirm that fifth place is number one. We think it's the Elijah Craig Barrel Proof, and it is uh, number four. You said the Bardstown. It is the Bardstown. And third place, Eagle Rare. And then 1792. And first place, my Old Forester 1910. And I say my Old Forester 1910 because you all know I have an unhealthy love of Old Forester 1910. The 1910 and the 1792 12 year are going to advance to the next round. So that's good news and bad news. So the good news is that 1910 is available everywhere pretty easily and it's not very expensive. The 1792 12 year advancing is rough because it is extremely rare and hard to find and I spent a lot of money on that bottle. Eagle Rare is not a particularly sweet bourbon so I'm a little surprised that you kind of liked it. It's the aftertaste. It's like at the beginning I was like, oh, thought I made a mistake, went to grab some water. And then I was like, hmm. I'm a little surprised at the the contestants and, and how this played out. This group is actually a stacked group. These are all amazing bourbons and, and really, really good. So none of them were bad. It was just when you put them side by side, somebody's got to advance. And this is how it worked out for me tonight. But the 1910 <laughs> really did do well tonight. And it really stood out. And it was... From the very beginning, it was number one. So, Jamie, thank you so much for coming down to the Speakeasies tonight. <laughs> it was fun, guys. Yeah. Um, and if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Follow us on Instagram at The Whiskey Row. If you feel like supporting us, check us out on patreon.com slash whiskey row. And if you want to check out some of our merchandise, uh, check it out at whiskeyrow.shop. We're going to continue these competitions until we figure out which bourbon is my favorite bourbon. So until next time. Find a bottle you love. Yo, 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 yo. <laughs> hey, welcome back to another episode of Whiskey Row. <laughs> hey, welcome back to another episode of Whiskey Row. Hi, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that perfect?